guys. Welcome. I know, I know. I normally only do one day, but today is very special to me. I am going to teach you all how to make wrist corsages. They're very simple, very easy to make. And all we do, oops, there's the camera. And all we are going to do is pick the colors that you want to use. For instance, I am making this for a young lady that is going to prom for junior prom. And her color is like a navy blue color. And I picked some navy blue flowers to go with the whites that we are going to be using in to this wrist corsage. So first you are going to go ahead and give me two minutes and we are gonna go in. We're gonna share this out. We're gonna let people know what we are up to. Somebody's out there having some fun. I must say they're out there revving it up. Having a good old time. So we're going to get this shared out and get those people in this chat. So I'm not in here by myself today. Crafting hour. Have to love it. Bet you didn't know I like to do all aspects of things. Hey, there's that one. And one more and we are good to go. It's a beautiful day out. Sun is shining. Um, birds are chirping. No rain, thank goodness. We're just going to be getting ready to... Uh, Hello, Michael Ann. Thanks for stopping in. Very nice to see you today. Just getting some things shared out real fast and going to get on over here. Guys, we are going to get started. So the first thing that you need is a little wristlet. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, uh, Michael's, any type of hobby store that you have. It's a simple band. It fits all sizes of wrists. I don't want to put this on because she is dainty. I don't want it to um, stretch. So this is what we're going to be using. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your flaps and you're going to go ahead and fold these over because you do not need them. So we're going to fold them over. Or some people cut them off, but then they become too sharp. So I don't really like to do that because the chances of them poking into somebody, um, you know, would hurt you. So once you do that, you're going to choose your main flower of focus. So for this project, I chose this beautiful set of flowers here. And it's kind of already got the leaves on it. Because I didn't pick any leaves up this time around. So these are pretty white leaves. They have their, um, you can kind of flip them to the side so they spread out and they look like a full flower effect. Yeah, yeah there we go. Full flower effect. What you're going to do is we're going to cut off this back stem of the flower. So that way, when you go to use the hot glue gun, you can glue each flower in place to where you want them. So that's what we are going to do first. And I might have to go get the wire cutters out of the garage for this. I don't know if my snips or my scissors are strong enough to cut these. Well, they are. Okay. So now that we've done that, you're going to use your hot glue gun, which I have mine right here off to the side, and it's been plugged in for a while. You're going to go ahead and place a little bit of glue on the backs of those flowers. Well, this is just the one flower. Now remember that. Because I'm only picking one up at a time. And you're just going to slightly place it wherever you want on the corsage, on the metal plate, like so. And then just kind of hold it down there for a few minutes. 
give it a chance to dry, I say, because that's what we're doing. We're letting it dry in place. And it's going to run off the back, but don't be afraid because those can, um, you can peel that off on the end. So that's one side. And then we're going to go ahead, while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and I picked out some calla lilies with white pearls in them. Hello, Meg. And I picked up some, they look like baby's breath, but it's um, got little pearls on them with some uh, see-through ribbon in it. I also picked up these pretty blue flowers that we can, these are called paper flowers. You can peel them and put them how you like. Let me straighten it all out here so it looks like a flower. These little blue flowers. And then I also picked up these little flowers with the diamonds in the middle of them. And then we have a roll of white ribbon and a roll of navy blue ribbon. And then I also picked up these really cute white palm flowers, depending upon what we may do. So you're, you're the designer. You get to design this how you truly want it to be designed. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and take some of these off. Because, you know, when you get things, they're all pre-wired together. This is the only thing that I did not do. I didn't take the time to, well, we're going to cut these anyway. So let's just, let's just cut into it. There's one, two, three, because you're not going to use all the wiring that comes with it. So what I like to do is I go through and I straighten up all the flowers so they don't look, I mean, flowers, some of these flowers are made to look like they've been crushed a little bit. But you just want to go through and refirm them up a little, press down on them a little bit so that they can sit in as decorative pieces. And then again, you're going to go ahead and clip the back of this. Um, right down to almost the bottom. There we go. I just didn't want to shoot the wire all over the house and then I got to go pick it all up. And then what you do with the little piece that's left over, you have a fingernail, just bend that wire over like so. That's all we do. And then you take a little bit of super glue, super glue that on the back side of that. Watch out for the excess glue. And then you're just going to kind of Place it like on the back side of the flower a little bit because you're going to fit these in all around and they're going to stay. They're not going to fall off. And now that that other side's done being glued, I'm going to cut this just a little short and then I'm going to go ahead and glue this other big flower on there so we can have our work around it. Now that that's on, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take it and place it. Not glue to your table like I just did. And like I said, it's glue, it dries, it comes right off with your fingernail or whatever you got. That's the good thing about using super glue. So there's the start of your wrist corsage so far. As we can see. Very pretty. Back this way. There we go. And now you're just going to take your blue flowers and kind of work them in around your wrist corsage a little bit.
Same thing on this side. Put my blue flowers there. Then I'm going to go ahead and come in with the little poppy flowers. First, I gotta undo them because you know the store does goes to town, so nobody walks off with these things, which I can say I don't blame them. No, this is for my son's girlfriend, Meg. He is um he has junior prom this weekend. And I am making these for them for their prom. Same thing with these little flowers. They have the little jewel in the middle. Hey, Ford man. Kenny, I dropped you the link in chat if you'd like to come up. Again, we're going to just cut the tail short. No pokey things added. And then what I like to do. Sorry, guys, my nose kind of itches there. We're going to drop this navy blue one right in the middle. Hold it there for a few seconds. <clears throat> Let it dry. And what I like, this is can be a keepsake for the kids to have. You know, they don't have to really worry about real flowers dying off or anything like that. So, so far, this is what we have. I can show you guys over here like this. So this is what we have so far. Dang, my sinuses are driving me nuts. And then for these little flowers here with the little lace in the um, little nice little um beads on them we're gonna go in with them and what i like to do is see where what i like to do is so i leave the stems on these like so and i just kind of place for purposing for me for right at the moment to see where i think it gets the most bang for their buck and then i like place it on my hand as if i was going to wear it to see what looks, to see kind of like what looks good as you're looking at them. So this is, would be my wrist and you're going to look for areas to fill with the fillers. That's how I, that's what I think. And I might just do three and three on each side. And then we'll probably go in with a couple of the calla lilies to be, you know, in between, like so. And then two over here for this side. So if you can see the table, let me move these over here. You can see the table. That's kind of what one side would look like, where you see the calla lilies and the lace with the other on the other side. And then I'll do the same thing for the other side as well. And you might not use everything that you have here because it's up to you as the creator to pick what you want to use. So we're going to go ahead and cut these. 
Now these you have to leave a little long. I am not going to lie because you need to be able to work with it. And if you cut them too short, um, they will unravel. And then you're going to have a whole nother world of mess on your hands. So I leave, I cut about yay much for myself to work with. Maybe a little shorter. You can be the judge. And then the calla lilies, I just cut like that much to work with. You just kind of got to use your eye and your own judgment on these things. So we're going to go ahead and turn it towards me. We're actually going to work on this back side of things like so. And these are really easy. So what we're going to do is put the hot glue on this little edge right here and work with that. Because you want these to stick out past the um, other flowers that are already on there. Oh. You can anchor them to the flowers underneath. because it's much easier to work with, I think. Like I said, you're the creator of it. You're the designer. You design how you want your wrist corsage to come out. Nope, 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 nope. The glue was starting to run on me there. Sorry, guys, I keep I'm so used to working towards me that I know sometimes it's off the screen. Um, for if any of you would like to come up and chat with me for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and drop the link in the chat. Come on up, say hey. You don't have to know much about this stuff. It's okay. I just thought it would be something kind of cool because we talked about it one night on somebody else's live and they really didn't know that I like to do things like this. So I thought, why not share it with you guys? So now that we have the lace and everything on one side so that's what the side of it would look like if you're wearing it on the side and you're wearing it on your wrist the lace sticks out like so and flip it back over and we're going to place the calla lilies around which i should probably have left those long these ones i'll fit for something else a little longer and it's always a good thing if you have extra. You know what I mean? Um, I think crafting is very relaxing for you. If you had like a little bad day and you need to like unwind and do something, paint, color, create, do whatever helps with the mind to ease it a little bit. And then it's easier to do things. I, I feel, I feel. Now, I could be way wrong. You could be saying, Crystal, you don't know what you're talking about. Or, that's what you say, lady, but it doesn't help me with Jack Dilly squat. And that's okay, because not everybody is the same. Not everybody likes crafting. Not everybody likes to work out every day and not everybody likes to jog or anything for that matter but 
it's still something everybody likes and they're passionate about it and it makes them feel good about themselves. And I say, why not do it? So again, we're going to go ahead and just put a little layer of glue on that. And we are going to go ahead and slide it on in that area where right next to the others. So you got some calla lilies and some beads all over. So... Here is the one side so far, and it looks kind of like that with your flowers. Then we're going to go ahead, and now we're going to work on the open side. Same thing, three of those little flowers again, and then two more of the calla lilies. I might put a third one in there. Um, we'll see what it looks like when we get done here. And I think I'm going to leave these a little longer because they're easier to work with when they're a little longer. There are those three. Yes, I agree. I agree, Meg. I agree. You guys, if you want to come up, come on up. That's fine with me. I don't mind whatsoever. I just need to see your face and make sure you're who you say you are. Okay, on this side... I can get to it. I was going to say, oh no, I can't get to it. What did I do? There's one. guys see that I just glued my fingers to each other thank goodness it's not Elmer's or I mean super glue we'd be in big trouble and sometimes you got to play with the little flower itself before you have to glue it in there so you get it just the right way that you want it So there's the other side. You can, once these dry in there, you can spread them out to the where you want them, basically. And I try to run these symmetrical, so that way they look the same. Hello, Full Time Dream. I am making a wrist corsage for Junior Prom. For my son's girlfriend.
guys, and we are going to go with three of these, I think. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> How many of you guys remember your prom? Rather it be high school, junior prom, eighth grade prom, or eighth grade dance, I should call it, because they didn't really have a prom back then, per se. It was a dance. <laughs> no, this is for my son. This is for my son's date. I'm not into that. You remember 12th grade prom, hey, Kenny? Did you go to your prom? So, we got two more to put in there. One more on this side and one more on the other side. And then th that's all what these are. They're like your fillers. It's to fill in holes that say your flowers may be too big to reach per se so now we got it's almost dried i just don't want to put it down yet And then one more over here. This one goes on this side. We are going to go ahead and put this one down here. like so we're just filling in the holes sorry i don't have an answer for that i love it when my um alexa answers me and i wasn't even talking to her there is no active meeting So, so far we have it and it looks like this. And this is what the sides look like. On both sides. Oops. And then we have the fun part. 
I think it needs a little bit more blue. And I think I'm going to go with the diamond ones in the middle. So we're going to cut a couple of these and we're going to put them on each side of the white rose. Or the white flower that's in, that's on it. Thank you very much. Kind of hold it down a little bit. Kenny, I'm glad you had a good time at your prom. Did you slow dance with anyone, sir? Tried to glue the hot glue gun to the thing. Hey, watch your mouth. I can hear it all the way out here. Yeah, I would love to see it, Michael Ann. There, now that's got a little more blue in it and not so much white. It's got more of the color in it, the coloring in it on each side of the flower. Now for the fun part. We are going to use... The lovely, if I can get it open. We're going to use this lovely ribbon. Let me clean up the crafting table here just a little bit. Not so much these, but all the loose it ends things here so I don't have them all over the floor or step on one and get a wire in my foot. Don't want that. That would be very painful. So, and you know what, too, guys, I save all this stuff. So if I ever have to make another corsage or something, I can see what I have in the wrist corsage box or the boutonniere box. And we will either add to it, take away from it, whatever we have to do. That would hurt. I agree. Michael Ann, did you happen to see Blaine's live today? Blaine and Mallory? Yes, Mallory. I'm just curious if you caught what their surprise was. I am very excited. So, guys, what I like to do is I like to take both of these ribbons and then just kind of take out maybe a good 12 inches, if that. And then I cut them on a diagonal. Did you catch his news by any chance?
then what I like to do is I like to cut them into little strips. And then the, for the first one, I take the navy blue. We're going to start with navy blue. We're going to just put a little dab of glue in it. And then you're going to take the white one. Lay that right on top. Then you're going to go again with the little navy blue. Lay that on top. The white one. Lay that on top. Okay, so see how, this is why you buy yourself a spool of ribbon. See how you can barely see the ribbon on this underneath? So what you're going to do is you're going to take them out and the length that you cut these, you're going to cut them just a little longer because you want them to stick out past the flowers. So what I do is I leave this one down as my... Go to ribbon, so I said maybe a few, go ahead and measure that out and just see how long that comes to because you need it just a little longer. And instead of cutting it ah, there we go that short you're gonna come out just a little bit more and we're actually gonna go this short and then you can go ahead and use your first cut to cut the next set of ribbons And then so on and so forth till you get just the exact amount of ribbon that you need. One more. One more. Hello, Lillian. Excuse me. Okay, push that off to the side. Take your scraps off to the side. Now let's get down to business. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. Build that. Okay. 
like so. Next set. Now, most like to put their ribbons on the bottom and work their way up as a, the bottom piece. I like using my ribbons on the very bottom. So it helps when the girls put their bracelets on. That metal piece don't irritate your wrist back and forth like so. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Oh. And then we're going to head in with the white. And you always want to make sure you have the same amount on the same area there. There we go. There we go. Ah. Get. Okay, so we're going to let this dry for just a second because that glue is a lot there. I got glue all over my fingers. Hey, Blaine or Mallory. Hello. Welcome aboard. <clears throat> we are making wrist corsages for my son's prom date. So what we're going to go ahead and do is now that that is on there, I just realized that that is a little off, but that's okay. So it kind of looks like a star. You're going to take your kind of fandangle it under here like so. Bring this white one under. And maybe this blue. There we go. There. So it's in the middle. And see how that comes out underneath? Just like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to just lift it up. Carefully put a dot in the middle of the metal piece that's underneath because you don't want this glue to get on the wrist lit alone. And there you have it, guys. 
the end of the corsage making. Very pretty, very beautiful, very elegant. There you go, guys. It sure is going to be fun, Blaine. I am super stoked because I really want to meet you and Mallory. And now if Danny only said he was going, hey, hey, the gang's all there. <laughs> Can you imagine the shenanigans we could all have? <laughs> Aww. Well, I will have to meet Mallory another time if that means coming to a meetup. So, Blaine, do you have a roommate yet, per se? Or is that to be determined? Out of curiosity. Livy, would you like to see her corsage? What do you think? It's pretty. It turned out really well? Yeah. Do you like it or no? No, it looks fine. It does? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You would tell your mama differently? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Who's all on? Um, Blaine, cruising scene, Meg, um, Michael Ann, Kenny B. Um, um, hold on, I'll tell you. Full time dream. Which ones do I know? All of them. <laughs> Her dress is a navy blue color, like a dark navy. So these are the flowers that we're going with. They're navy blue. So that's what we did today. We made a wrist corsage. Yay! We go get a baggie, please. My hands full. Yeah, just a little bit. Feel that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I put it back on. I do, but we will mention it closer to the time, maybe. <gasps> yes! <laughs> I cannot wait to hear who it is. This cruise is going to be epic. I am so stoked about everybody coming and being a part of it. And I, I'm just... I don't have words. Like, I am very, very, very excited and very happy um, to meet everyone and get to know everyone a little bit more. I'm just really, really, really excited for it. These got to go in there. So, why? Does he think? I don't think it's broke. It's not, because I can. You can bend it. I can bend it. And you can make a fist. It's not mm -hmm. broke. Mm -hmm. But if you take that off, you can't make a fist? Mm -hmm. Can you? Do you have strength? Mm -hmm. I hope it's not a metacarpal thing. I have strength. So Livy hurt herself today in gym class doing hand cleans. And I don't think it's broke because she can put that on and make a fist she but can, I can't squeeze yeah she can't squeeze but she can like move her wrist up and down and everything so I but don't I mean, think I don't think it's broke it hurts to do it but I will be okay if it hurts tomorrow morning I will go get it checked out after school after school <laughs> 
So this is Williams boutonniere that I made. It was just two single flowers wrapped in some tape to protect himself. I think mine looks better out of all of them. And then this here. Do you have yours, Liv? If you find it, bring it here. We'll clean it. Gotta love kids. Nothing. I didn't say anything. It's someone already booked, so don't get excited. Someone that has already booked. Hmm. I don't know who everybody is, so I couldn't tell you. I don't know who everyone that is going is, I should say. So give me just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off. We don't need that anymore. Ooh, no. There we go. There's that. That's off. Let me move this computer over to the good table. I'm going to slide these over. Well, honey, that's okay. There. And then we could tack a little bit. Maybe part of Darian's group? I don't know. Darian's got a big group going. Could possibly be. You never know. That's what I thought it was too, Michael Ann. I thought it was just a sprain. Just keep it rust. Elevated. Ice. Wrapped. I We bought that little thing that she's wearing right now from the dollar store. So, um... It just keeps it tight on there. I, I'm not quite sure, you know. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is the link. I will pin it at the top. If anybody would like to come join me for the last half hour, we'll chitter chat for a few. <clears throat> Just wanted to make something kind of crafty with everyone and talk to everyone and everything. I feel bad about yesterday's live stream because it went out. So nobody really got to see. Man, the humidity is so bad. My hair is all curly. I can't keep it back. Nothing. It's driving me nuts. Um, You know, I just... So I heard, I put together a, um, okay, Michael Ann, sounds good. Um, I put together a small video today or yesterday and released it last night when I went ahead and we talked about the ship that came through and everything like that. So um, that's out there for you guys to see. I just felt really bad because the whole ship, you could see it for a minute coming in. It looked like, like that ghost ship type mode. and Boom, the thing went out. I was so mad, so mad. So, well, that didn't take very long. I thought that was probably, oh, there she is. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. It's, it's, I've got children here too. I've got my grandson and two other little ones. Uh oh, do I have YouTube up? Probably. There. Look, see him on TV. Oh, hello. <laughs> Her name is Trinity. Very nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Wait, what TV show is this? It's not a TV show. I'm just on the web talking to a friend. Uh and a million other ones. <laughs> well, yeah, but we won't say that. <laughs> I'm so excited that Blaine is going. Like I know. The group keeps growing, doesn't it? I know. And the more wow. <clears throat> we're finding out who's going, like my sister-in-law texted me last night and said, hey, I got our tickets for um, 
I bought my ticket for the trip already, so she's got her flights. She goes, now it's becoming real. And I'm oh, like, yeah. where are you going? No, she's coming with us on the cruise. My sister-in-law is coming with us on the cruise. Hi. Oh, I didn't know that. That's another friend. What are you doing? <laughs> That's another friend. Yeah, I'm a dinosaur. And that's my Spider-Man grandson. Your Spider-Man grandson. Yeah, so I don't know how long I'll be able to be out. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Somebody may get hurt. <laughs> um, yeah. I know. I'm I'm so are you gonna share where y'all are going in Aruba? Oh yes, we are I put it on the group cruise page already. Oh, I didn't see it. And we are doing the um hold on, let me get to it. So I can tell you exactly. So that way. Um, it's the top 10 best, best of Aruba. Um, we go to uh, the gold mine ruins, the fisherman's pass, the bay natural bridge, the baby natural bridge. AO rock formations. <clears throat> is it a non off bus or is it a it's a tour? It's yeah, it's an on off bus, and then you get to go do these things while they go there. Oh, those on off buses are great. Yeah, you can choose to get off if you want to or stay on if you don't. Yeah, and it's you got to do a little bit of walking, it's not real <laughs> heavy walking, they said. Um, and if you're in a wheelchair. It can be easily stowed, they said. Man, so, that sounds like a good excursion. Yeah, and it's got um, so the other after that, you go to um okay the art glass blowing studio, the California lighthouse, the bird sanctuary, and then we drive by the beaches. Uh, the Aruba beaches look awesome, though, too. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. I'm going to look into that on off and then uh, look into because we haven't made any plans yet. Yep. And then um, it says the tour is accessible. Is ablatory accessible. You must be able to take a few steps up and down and walk a short distance. Collapsible wheelchairs can be stored. Um, it says what to bring, cash and credit card for purchases. So that must be if you go somewhere and you want to purchase like a souvenir or something like that, you have to be able to bring that. And um, um, it starts at 930 in the morning and it's a four hour tour. So... Did you mute yourself? I did because they were being too loud. Do you remember how long we're there for? All day. Like we get there at like, we dock at like seven o'clock in the morning. We, get, we can get off about nine and we don't leave till 10 o'clock at night. Hey, stop, stop, stop. And this one's only like 60 bucks. And I know um, Sean and Lana are going with me and my sister-in-law on this trip. They're going with you and who? My sister-in-law. Oh, so when did your sister-in-law make? Oh, so she's rooming with you? Yep. <gasps> and this is the one you're going on a trip with her in the future too or in? Yeah, we were. I was going to go to California like at the end of June, but that's going to, they're going to just shorten it and just go to VidCon. And go straight back to, because they'll have to go from VidCon to, um, they have to drive from VidCon, which is in Anaheim, and then they got to go all the way to Vegas. So they have to go all the way across. What's up, Ford man? I know much. Just got in the house not even five minutes ago. Yeah. So did you get to see the end result? I got, yeah, I got, I, I had you plan on all the way, all the way back here to the house. 
You know, I didn't even get notified that you even went live, but I just popped open YouTube and there you were. There you were. Yeah, no, it was just like a pop up live. I did. I wasn't planning on it, so I thought let's just do some fun things and. Hey, Kenny. You know. Hey, Sharon. How are you? Good. I popped on real quick. I don't know how long this is gonna last. <laughs> just figured I'd say hi. We need. I need to. I need to get you up on mine one night. You haven't been you haven't been up on mine much. <laughs> I think I got you one time up on mine. <laughs> uh yeah, I will. Yours is at ten o'clock though, right? Yeah, that'd be nine yours. Yeah. Yeah, we get Gary and I. Gary'll probably be home, so he'll come up. That'll be exciting. <laughs> Yeah. Never know what to expect. Gary's fun. Gary's gonna be very fun on the cruise. He will. I, I'm. I'm not as fun as he is. I'll admit. <laughs> he's. He's gonna be fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make you feel like your kids are no. there all over well, again. Sharon's huh? got them grandbabies out at their house, oh, and that's what. That's what those. Uh, his dad says it sounds like somebody's choking a chicken. <laughs> they do choke each other. I try to turn the mute off, though. I, I mean, yeah, on when they're kidding. yelling. I thought maybe you would get ready to make chicken and dumplings or something. No. Uh, I got bringing the neck. Them youngins is keeping her busy, hopping. So, what did you? What do you do? What did you do today, Kenny? What I do today? Uh, we went and picked up a, um, friend of mine that I'd known since elementary school, took her home from work, and, uh, and then went grocery shopping afterwards, and went and found campsite number 52 today. I booked my campsite for Big Joe and Malia. Did you? Where are you at? I'm at 52. Which is where? Which is further that about, home. Ten, about 10 sites beyond Joe and Malia. About 10, about 10 sites beyond Joe and Malia. Okay, so are they where they normally would be? Yeah. They're at site 63. Yeah. Okay, so you're going straight then? I'm going straight, yeah. So are you across from the bathhouse? Nope. <laughs> I gotta you, walk. I gotta walk a good distance. Are you down and around the corner? It's around. It's around the curve there. It's around the curve there. Okay, so it's around where Michael and Becca were. It's where they usually put those big RV rigs in there. Usually, I think I know where you're at. That was the only one. You know, that where, you know where when you go 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 up the road a little bit, and uh, you turn that curve to go down to the lower end. Yeah. Okay. It's right there where when you come back out, the uh, you you go around that bend there, and you come up and you go around the other side and come out there. Oh, you're going to have to walk quite a way, mister. Yeah, <laughs> I am. We're not all that far. I mean, it's maybe 50 or 60 yards further than it's had to go before. Oh, that's not too bad then. And, and the best thing is, a majority of the time, you're going to be at Big Joe and Malia's. Mm -hmm. Other than having to go to sleep at night. More than likely, you're Scots. Or yeah, I, I I'll be right there, with Big John Malia, cause she got they got that big area. But hey, uh, Blaine, I wish that that worked for me, but it don't work for me. <laughs> I got an, I got to actually have a bathroom, cause I don't balance too well. 
I, and I don't and I don't squat too well either. <laughs> <laughs> Just being honest with you. All right. All right. <laughs> we don't want you rolling down the embankment and into the the drink. Oh. <laughs> Kenny will look like a bobber. <laughs> Except for that water down that hill is not very deep. That little creek that runs behind the campground. I don't know. I don't I hadn't seen that creek. Blaine says he's in the wrong chat. Which one were you all in? When we came down? Yeah. I, we stayed at the hotel. Oh, that's right. Though in one night they stayed. We didn't stay in the campground at all. We were at the hotel. Oh, I thought you parked your truck there at my site, though. Yeah, I parked your truck. I parked at your site. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. There we go. Hello. Hi, my going. Hi, my going. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Sharon. Hey. I just have myself muted. So she's I'm going to mute again. She's got the grandkids. <laughs> I waited. That's why I waited until I got back here because I know she wouldn't let me uh, have undivided attention. <laughs> right. What you, what you eating are good there, Michael? Eh? It's a salad. Well, I'm waiting for That's my chicken I, to cook. That's what I'm fixing to eat here shortly as soon as Dad gets me a... Oh, what'd you do? Almost fell. Almost fell. Yeah. Don't fall, Papa. I'm trying not to, huh? <laughs> well, at least this time, to. At least this I time wish to. I could work it out. My legs going one way and my legs going the other. I wish I could work it out. And come down for the meetup, but there's no way. I'm so excited for you that you have a roommate and that your sister in law is coming. That's awesome. That's yeah, she's really so. We got here's how that whole subject came about. We were talking about okay, that was nothing. I I ordered some stuff off of Amazon, and the order that I thought was being shipped, they shipped from different areas. Well, you know how I said, oh, I got the confirmation it was shipped? No, that was for something for the cruise. And now I just got the confirmation that his shirt and tie are being shipped. I'm like, <laughs> I say the salad. So how the whole subject got talked about. Um, the meetup is in Kentucky, June 10th through the 12th. At you mean Rogers State Park, right? You mean in Tennessee, not not in. Kentucky. Oh yeah, yeah, in Tennessee. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because <laughs> I was going to say I just booked the. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, big Joe. It's big Joe and Malia's uh, meetup, and she's actually going to be celebrating her fiftieth uh, birthday. Actually, yeah. Malia is, and. So, uh, yeah, it's June the tenth through the twelfth, like she said. Yeah, and uh, everybody's welcome. Uh, like I said before, the way you see them on the screen is the way you get to meet them in person. I mean, um, they treat you like family. That they do. That they do. And, and like I said, they're just down to earth country. Down to earth country hillbilly folks, and I highly <laughs> recommend checking it, checking their channel out because I I get I guarantee you really enjoy their channel. She does a lot of cooking videos on on her channel as well. Yeah, they, they I've had some of her cooking that she's made and some of her food that she's made, and oh man, it'll make your tongue slap your brain. <laughs> it's in Kingsport, Tennessee, Megan or Meg. Yep. 
And me and Big Joe, we've actually done uh, hot sauce challenges. We played this game last year with, it was called Hot Sauce Roulette. And uh, it was like 12 different hot sauces. And, um, of course, the higher the number, the hotter it was, the hotter it was. I forget what they call that 12 hot sauce, but but whatever. It was me, Big Joe, Otis, Scott, Scott, and one of Toby's daughters, wasn't it? Something like that, yeah. And uh, you spin this wheel. And whatever hot sauce it landed on, you had to eat that hot. You had to eat that hot sauce. It was like a jelly bean, though, wasn't it? Huh? It was a jelly bean, right? No, it was hot sauce. It was hot sauce. It was different types of hot sauces. Oh, it okay. Hot, it was hot sauce roulette. Okay. I thought they were jelly beans. I think uh, they did that too. I think. I know I've done it in, in at Silver Dollar City when I went to Branson. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. What you see is what you get. They are a hoot to be around. Did they have many sites left, Kenny? Nope. Not too many. They, I think they may have had one or two more left and then... We thought I thought I, I told him I said I want the I, I want the closest site I can get to that's as close to sixty three that that's still available because I didn't want to be too far away from the group and uh, and they said I had the choice between fifty two or fifty three so I got fifty I got fifty two. Oh. And I just booked it today. So I, I didn't want to wait till right to the last minute to lose it. and lose it, not get a chance to. Because even Scott and them, they wanted me to really come too. And he told me about it. And I said, well, I wasn't sure, you know. And I, you know, I, I told him before, I couldn't book anything too far in advance because I didn't know what I didn't know what the uh, financial financial situation was going to be so right it, it worked out where I could do it so good Uh, Am I suddenly quiet? Um, look what I just sent you, Michael Ann. I didn't know you could make these things in Toronto. It's a waffle. Oh my God. It's a waffle. <laughs> it's a waffle? It's a waffle. What kind of waffle? I will send you it in chat messages. I'm not post. It's not appropriate with it's her quite the waffle. It's not her, appropriate for her having little kids in the background. Okay, I understand. What kind of things do they do in Toronto? <laughs> I'm, I'm not so sure. I want to know now. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Ann said it got quiet. I could leave my mic on. It'll be noisy. Michael Ann, how'd it go Saturday? Sharon, what I sent you, do not open it in front of those kids. 
<laughs> so did you film it Saturday? Yes, I've got lots of video from Saturday. It's going to take me some time to edit it to make a longer video. But I will be releasing two short videos tomorrow and Friday, probably, of little clips I made from them. A lot of role playing. There's not so much fighting in that one. Those two. I wish that YouTube would uh, give you notification when people put out a short. But they. Oh, won't. I know. I know. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this because you know, um, Streamyard keeps track of how long you go, and I don't want to run out of time before mm -hmm. the end of the month. But you four mm -hmm. can stay on, okay? Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for all joining hey, everyone. Me, watching okay. me make a corsage and crafting for an hour. Each and every one of you have a fantastic day. And we will catch you next Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Until next time, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.